uh, dear student uh, uh, business studies uh, latest trends i am going to uh, do a presentation for you about uh, latest trends in business environment uh, awareness of latest situation will help uh, for the student to answer the multiple questions i am going to uh, present you the new trends in all sectors first one uh, digitalization it is uh, allowed making transaction using electronic uh, media and uh, same time uh, person can do the payment online at any time of the day by using uh, mobile wallets e wallets and prepaid cards these are the payment instruments that mean in digitalizations it is very speed paperless and accurate and any time of the day you can do the transaction here transaction and payment both could be done that is the meaning of digitalization now recently due to this benefits a lot of banks they are going to digitalize their uh, banking transaction that's the new trend when we think of when, when we think uh, the new about new new trends open banking also one of them here the using of electronic device the customer can do lot of small scale banking activities actually the customer can do interbank transaction bank to bank transaction now as example if you think the people's bank customer wants to remit some money to the commercial bank easily by using this app he can do that it is real time and paperless and cost also less normally it takes only 50 rupees for a transaction and same time this device will help customer to do the uh, various bill payment utility utility bill payments they can do using this electronic uh, interface application now various uh, brand name used by the banks the people we have of the people's bank uh, app and the b app is the bank of ceylon app nowadays actually a uh, lot of people do their banking through this uh, open banking devices when the next point is the cloud computing the cloud computing is a means the storing and accessing the data and program in the space now same time without having the own uh, disaster centers or data centers the organization can use the cloud computing system as a example google drive is the pure cloud computing service with all the storage found online so it can work with the cloud apps such as uh, google docs google sheets and google slides advantage this is cloud computing is it's a low cost otherwise you have to maintain your uh, centers and 
high security and same time operation may be efficient but only problem is uh, the privacy of data and same time this type of things uh, operating by western world uh, companies multiple companies right like google it is a problem for national security it's a challenge for national security that is why even now lot of banks still not decided to apply this uh, cloud computing now cryptocurrency that is a digital asset it has it is a some way of medium of exchange now uh, when we bitcoin is a example of cryptocurrency but only thing is this uh, cryptocurrency problem is even central bank cannot uh, do the re to uh, regulate it, this system so because of that that uh, using cryptocurrency lot of people might do money laundering and terrorist financing type of things so now the due to that reason uh, that's the major challenge for any government has to face another thing blockchain the central bank uh, is going to introduce this product for the banks uh, as the methodology of to store the data in order to do the kyc uh, know your customer and prevailing money laundering the central bank is going to introduce this product for the product for product to the other licensed banks and derivatives now you see uh, when you are doing Uh, banking especially granting loans and investing and entering into various financial contracts related parties may face the risks to avoid these risks any party can use the derivatives and now we have example i can tell now sometime uh, if you after opening the lc you need uh, foreign currency Uh, after three months, sometimes the problem is uh, due to the that change in of the currency value. You face a risk. Due to that, what you can do, you can enter into the forward exchange contract with the bank to get you a foreign currency future at the fixed rate. so that is we call forward exchange contracts these are the uh, instrument these are the things we call as derivatives this one has been legalized by central bank uh, in 2017 now next point is intraday liquidity facility now you know you everybody knows about uh, rtgs real time gross settlement now you see every com licensed commercial banks should open their current account at the central bank right this rtgs is really operating through this uh, this current accounts that's a software package that rtgs uh, use really do the large value of transaction among the banks for that they use that current accounts now sometime uh, according to the rtgs rule uh, every day every bank do the this transaction has to be settled now when we ask example we see that uh, uh, bank of silon has sent uh, 500 millions of uh, checks to uh, right hmb 
if NTNB collect uh, 200 million of checks, Bank of Ceylon checks, to do the settlement, the Bank of Ceylon should pay 300 million. If sometime Central Bank, uh, uh, the, 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 that Bank of Ceylon doesn't have the enough sufficient money in his current account, the automatically Central Bank give, a, give them a facility without uh, charging interest. That facility we call intraday liquidity facility. Now QR code payments. That's also a new payment method introduced by the uh, Central Bank in 2018. Now it could be used for small value payments. Now to do the payment, uh, right, payment is performed by scanning a QR code from your mobile uh, mobile phone. Right, but this this system is very useful by using this QR code. The customer can get the product information, and without uh, really a cashier, right? The code can be used to the to do the payments. Due to that, uh, the sales volume will be increased. Now the QR code payment has been already introduced to the banking sector. BOC Smart is, we, is, a, is an example. Now uh, foreign exchange currency. Now we know that earlier the residents and the people who work in abroad, they were eligible to open uh, NRFC and RFC accounts, but uh, according to the Exchange Act number 12, 2017, uh, now they have introduced new three, three type of accounts for foreign employees, resident and non-resident people. Personal foreign currency accounts, business foreign currency accounts and the capital foreign currency Accounts are the <coughs> three accounts could be open under the Foreign Exchange Act. Now actually we should know the reason when last week the Central Bank introduced new, new foreign currency fixed deposit account as a capital accounts because now the country needs the foreign exchange. Due to that now, uh, the Central Bank, by introducing this uh, new foreign currency fixed deposit account, uh, people are motivated to open this account. Why? These customers are eligible to get special interest allowance for a shorter period. Now, carbon trading. That is very uh, important. Students should know these days because the use of uh, fossil fuels and uh, various uh, and uh, major production do, getting doing by factories has been resulted to the air pollution and, and it uh, helped to do the climate change right so this all these things by considering as a cost, some countries have imposed a maximum limit of greenhouse gases that can be used, right, uh, to do their uh, production, right? If any yam some organization they to increase their production and they emit beyond that limits that organization should do the extra payments, right? So this doing the payments and uh, doing this trading we call carbon trading, right? Actually this method use some countries as a measure of 
protection for the environment. Now that is very essential. Now actually in these days, due to this corona uh, epidemic has made a positive impact on the environment. Now we can see dolphins are freely swimming in the canals of Venice in Italy. So what we, un we can what we understand in this situation we must student must take as an opportunity. This is a very good opportunity to do your studies, use your time a uh, very productive man. So, we should understand the new trends of business environment if we want to get high marks for our business studies paper. Thank you. I am Gamake. If it is, if it is useful, please subscribe. Thank you.